Adam Bierman breathing Bierman back again after we had the New Jersey Huracan. Great people they dug and, and yeah, Bruce, they were great. Uh, live wired Lauren Lepree. <laughs> and now we have the comic genius, or maybe not, because we reserve the right to heckle you, of Fred Stein, stand up and song comedian. Take it away, Fred. My name is Fred Stein. If you don't like my act, my name is Justin Bieber. <laughs> I'm a lucky guy. I married Miss Wright. Unfortunately, her first name is always. I miss my wife's cooking as often as I can. I have a friend named Mike. He goes out with a lot of women. All the time, a different woman. I said, what's the name of your new girlfriend? He says, her name is Temporary. <laughs> okay. Ooh. What's the story with minimum wage? If someone pays me minimum wage, I'm going to give them minimum effort. <laughs> I went for a job interview with Bed Bath & Beyond. They wanted to put me in the Beyond section. Speaking about the Beyond, the Miss Universe contest, it must be rigged. All the time, the winners from the planet Earth. Now we're in Princeton. There's a lot of smart people here. There's philosophers. You know what a definition of philosopher is? A philosopher is a person who's out of work, but understands the reason why. <laughs> why is the word abbreviation such a long word? Now I have two fast jokes for kids. Why don't ants get sick? They have antibodies. Where do ants go on vacation? Antarctica. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a song here for the adults <laughs> now. Okay, I have a song about marijuana. Oh. It's called Marijuana. Oh, brilliant. If my guitar sounds out of tune, it's on purpose to harmonize with my voice. I don't want to brag, but I sang with Beyonce, Bruno Mars, and Taylor Swift. I sang with them. They were on stage and I was in the audience. Marijuana song. Take six. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Everybody likes her a lot. She is smoking hot. You know what she's got. You know what she's got. You know what she's got. Society's going to pot. Marijuana. 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 Everyone's doing marijuana. You make me peaceful. I don't want to fight. You only build up my appetite. There's many things in life that I need, but nothing compares with this weed. Marijuana. 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 Do you want to do marijuana? <laughs> Marijuana. You know it's good. It is really fine. You know my name is Freddie Stein. Marijuana. Marijuana. Come on and take a hit. Try a little bit. It's so good. You never want to quit. You know what she's got. My memory is shot. Don't ask me for any more lyrics. That's something I forgot. Marijuana. 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 Everyone's doing marijuana. It's heavy, man. All across man, the country. Far the out, man. Oh, Smoking hot. Smoking, smoking hot. hot. You don't even smoke pot. I'm sorry, we don't want to go to that punchline. <laughs> yeah. And then what's next? I have a song. Anybody here like to do exercise? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm bringing back the 20th century. This is a boom box. It's a baby boom box. Yeah. This won't dislocate your arm. Yes, Ann, it won't dislocate your arm. Yeah. Yes, if you dislocate your arm, you'll be in a lot of pain. Yes, Ann, when you're in a lot of pain, sometimes you might feel pleasure. Yes, and that's what you're into. <laughs> yes. Am I, no. Oh. 
Lose those pounds, lose those pounds, slimming down. Lose those pounds, lose those pounds, slimming down. I opened up the closet door, my shirts and pants don't fit no more. Much to my sad surprise, I'm up to the bigger size. I'm up to the bigger size, but I don't want to exercise. I don't want to exercise. I don't want to exercise no more. Get me off that treadmill. I just want to sit still. Exercise, exercise no more. I don't want to exercise. I don't want to exercise. I don't want to exercise no more. Throw me in the car. Drive me to the bar. Exercise, exercise no more. I'd rather be out of shape than look like a giant ape. Exercise, exercise no more. I'm all wet from all this sweat. Touch my toes and hold my nose. Exercise, exercise no more. You can call me lazy. You can call me a slouch. But I love the couch. Put me, put me, put me on the couch. Put me, put me, put me on the couch. On the couch, watch TV. On the couch, don't bother me. Put me, put me, put me on the couch. I don't want to exercise. I don't want to exercise. I don't want to exercise no more. Running in the street is bad for your knees and feet. It makes your heart go a beep, 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 beep. You may say I lack ambition, but I'd rather go out fishing. Exercise, exercise no more. I don't want to exercise. I don't want to exercise. I don't want to exercise no more. Put me, put me, put me on the couch. Put me, put me, put me on the couch. Put me, yeah. put me, yeah, man. put me on the couch. I like that, you know. Thank you. And you're speaking up for people who don't want to have that the pleasure of sweating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And pain and everything. It, yeah, you know, people are dying from exercise. Exactly. And the cortisol and everything. So I think you're speaking to a... You're speaking to a, a, a silent majority, unfortunately. In some ways, you know, in other ways, fortunately. I see deeper meaning to that song, yeah. actually. What's, I, what's the meaning? Well, I had a philosophy class. Speaking of that, philosophers. What's the meaning of meaning? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. That yeah. Deep. That's deep. That's deep. Deep, deep. Yeah. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Here I am, digging myself a hole, speaking about No, 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 no. You like my I, shoes? Hey, yeah, I, I do. Hey, I, I got to give anyone credit who can get up there and do these kind of things. Yes, yeah. especially to sing that song. You know, I like that song though, and it's witty and everything. I, I, you know, I see myself as an amateur songwriter too. But anyway, getting back to you, we're talking to Fred Stein. Fred, before we, don't, God, we only got hope the jokes out on us because we only have about six minutes. Let's talk about your website where they can reach you and see you and, and a little okay. bit about your journey, and then Jody can dissect you. Okay, my website is mm -hmm. www.fredsteinmusic.com, and you could reach me. I'm only, I'm only somewhere. Somewhere out there, I appear at the Catch a Rising Star Stress Factory, State Stress Factory in New Brunswick. New Brunswick, and I appeared in Revel Casino. That went out of business. You know why they went out of business? Because you performed there. Yeah. No, they paid. <laughs> they you. paid me so much money they went bankrupt. Ah. Yeah. You came into comedy later, or you always? I came it? into comedy later in life. Kind of like you told me, your dad. Um, My father used to work for Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, really? Rodney used to be in the home improvement business yeah, before yeah. he was a comic. Yeah. And my father was a house painter. And before my father got his check for painting houses, he had to sit there and listen to Rodney's routine. Mm -hmm. oh, what Rodney, a got into thing. It. Rodney got into it late, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, like, like, compared to what my age, he was like a young kid. He was in his 40s. Right, right. Yeah. He took another man. He was, he was Jack Foy or something like that. He was like Jack that. Roy. Roy. And his original Roy. name was Jack Cohn. Right. But at that time, there was just too many Jewish comics. Yeah. Two hundred years. Yeah. Think of that. Is, yeah. And Boris Brown and everything. You're not changing You're, your name. Right? No, uh, yeah. I was born with Fred Stein. My friends call me Fred Stein. Even my mother says, 
hey, Fred Stein, come over here, you know? So Anybody ever call you Frankenstein? Uh, Frankenstein. Uh, uh, maybe no? Einstein, but not Frankenstein. No, 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 no one no. ever called me Fred. I never heard that one. Dude. I like to, you, speaking about Frankenstein, I like to be frank with you, but I'm Fred. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm loving it. You said you are in real estate before you got into yes, comedy. Yes, I got fired in real estate. <clears throat> I'm very honest. Somebody asked me how much. I'm a real, I used to be a real estate appraiser. And has to estimate how much a house is worth. Somebody asked me, uh, how much is my house worth? And I said to him, look, if your house was on fire, I wouldn't waste my piss on it. So, Ooh, so that pretty much that sums it up there. Sliced it off. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. That's not worth uh, much. No. <laughs> <laughs> that show was just a joke. <laughs> I figured that. Yeah. So um, you, you started off. How did you evolve and what are you hoping for to get to? Uh, my goal is to play in downtown Kingsburg, New Jersey, which I do have a song called She Came From Gen Gen uh, Kingsburg. Where's Kingsburg? Kingsburg is part of Middletown. It's the, near the shore. Oh. It's a little heaven at the shore. That's your goal? If you go, is that sarcasm or is it... Really? It's sarcasm. Oh, it's Kingsburg's no, a dumpy place? No, I'd like to maybe be a big store in Poland <laughs> and then go downhill from I, you know, Madison catchy. Square Garden would be nice. You have the enthusiasm, though, and you yeah. know, and you just stand up and you. What well, do you, you do go when, for it, man? That's you, great. You do go for. What did you do when you bombed though, or when people are hostile? How do you handle that? Never happened. Okay. See? <laughs> no, but if somebody was to uh, heckle me, I would say to them properly, uh, "I like to help you out. Which way did you come in?" Uh -huh. or, <laughs> or if they have a pretty girl in the front row, I would say, "See this pretty girl in the front row? She's going to spank you if you're not good." I like, how about this, kill you're, you. you're a kind person, the kind of person we don't need. I got that from the monsters, yeah. grand grandpa and everything. Yeah. Dangerfield, you should say, why don't you save your breath for your inflatable date? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Am I the comic or is he? No, I'm just yeah. saying what Dangerfield like, said. I didn't uh, make that up. I'm yeah. just giving a tribute to the or, great Dot Rodney. He's an actor, though, and he's, he's more into the, the genre than even I. But, uh -huh. I mean, I was going to ask you. Than even I. I. I yeah, mean. A lot of factors try out in comedy. It's, I think it's a requirement. Mm -hmm. Except for with improv. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. No question. You got to be fast on your feet. Yeah. Speak about my feet. I wanted to show off these shoes. I like them. Yeah, they're yeah, pretty cool. They cool. I bought them for $25 in downtown Princeton. Speaking about Princeton, there's a pl town next door. It's called Plainsboro. It's plain. It's so plain. It's so boring. Plainsboro. I mean, sidewalks are so boring. Even the sidewalks walk the way. You know, and they, oh, God. I made jokes about That's Plainsboro. Bad. They have these condos and they give these fox. British names like Rolling Foxtrot or something. Why don't they just call it Plasticville or Commuting <laughs> Town or, or where, Nowhereville? You know, and something. there's not one gas station in Plainsboro. Could no? you believe that? No. Uh, really? They really? say they might break up the community. Uh, the community? Something or other. All there is a lot of people studying. It's mostly South Asian now. They're too busy studying and trying yeah. to get an AP That's class. where there's no gas. Yeah. They ride Speak, bikes. They ride bikes. Speaking of Asian, I think about becoming more American because Fred Stein's too ethnic. It's too Jewish. I'm thinking really? of changing my name to Fred Patel. Hey, that would really work around here. <laughs> Speaking about Patel, my wife worked in a company that had a lot of Patels. They had an MVP, like in baseball, most, most viable Patel. <laughs> um, God, we only have a minute or two. Maybe we can get a little longer. How long does it take you to hone your act? I mean, you just you have like 20 jokes and you just practice and hone it down. How's yeah, it I practice. It comes to me in dreams or nightmares. Or nightmares. Or nightmares uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe your wife. What does she? Does she tolerate you? Or oh, what? she tolerates me. She always says, criticizes me, but then she gives me advice and. Uh, What's the advice? Like, don't the do this. Is we have no money. Try, try, get out of show business. Get out of show business. Out of show business. Well, yeah. who were your influences? My influences were Rodney Dangerfield, Seinfeld, Robin Williams. Mm -hmm. You've think, got a sort of an old style, too, about you, though. I'm an old what, person. I mean, you've said sort of like that, the Jack Benny era, uh -huh. the Henny Youngman era kind of thing, a little bit, a little which bit. is a great thing. Yeah, Yeah, you have the chemistry and the enthusiasm. You keep going. Yeah, you, you, can, you, you get caught up in it. The joke and even if I wanted to be like, I'm a pretty optimistic guy, even if I don't want to be negative, I end up laughing anyway, because you keep going. You just don't stop. Right. That's and right. And stop. right. Yeah. Something catches me, and I start giggling, and then I giggle yeah. again. I think it gets a little contagious. My God, I supported you. I'm so, you know... Maybe I discovered you. Uh, so you saw him at the uh, at the High Region. Yeah, yeah, the, the High Region. Rising Star. Uh, right. When can you do the catch, catch Rising Star? It's every two weeks. It's every two weeks and stuff. And how do you get on? You just call up Mr. Mont. You, you, you call him up and you like something. You promise, like Tomasino, you promise your first son, and then he yeah. uh, lets you on stage. Well, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to wrap this up. Where, again, how can people reach you, see you, and 
Ten and where are you appearing next? Yeah, yeah. Next. Uh, probably be in Kitchen Rising Store in a couple of weeks. Okay, great. And Princeton, that's in Princeton. Well, actually, it's West Windsor. Probably. And it's a New stress place factory place. probably in late March. In New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. so, and they can go to fredstein.com. Yeah, uh, www.fredsteinmusic.com. Mm -hmm. Do you give so, advice to anyone, or you just tell them to f off? And I did it my way. So. Oh, any help. advice for any young comics? Yeah, or, or, or do you comics? say like you know f off? I want you to fail. No, no, I just say anybody who wants to be a comic, there's the four letter words called. Pray. <laughs> well, Fred, Stein, this went it. too fast. And stuff. It really did. And so, I expected more from you, Jody, and I didn't get anything. I'm Say just something. Listening. I'm listening. It's, it's his deal. It's his deal. Insult, Jody. Where do I pick up my check? Oh, <laughs> that's an insult to me. Adam's <laughs> Thank you, Fred. Thank you. And we'll be right back.